In this video, I wanna share with you the surprise and benefits that come with recording your workouts. And these don't have anything to do with social media. I'm sure there is benefit in getting support from the community and posting your workouts on Instagram, but these are benefits that I'm seeing that have nothing to do with that. And as I share them, would love to know what the benefits have been for you in recording your workout. And then if you're trepidatious or kind of timid about recording yourself, let us know why that is too. By the way, this is my favorite drink these days. It's so refreshing, it doesn't bloat me like soda water does. And if you don't finish it, you can close it up and put it back in the fridge. Thought I'd share. I am so surprised at just how many benefits there are from you filming your Tracy Anderson Method workout. And that is exactly what I wanna get into today's video. We're gonna cover the benefits of filming yourself that are not at all correlated to social media as one might think. We're gonna talk about some ways that you can plan to film yourself like what you'll need for the setup. And then just some overall tips that I've learned along the way. Hi, my name is Rachel. Each week I create content around the Tracy Anderson method and other things I'm doing to create a healthier, happier lifestyle. If that's of interest to you, I would love for you to subscribe. If you do like videos like this one, please be sure to like it. It helps a great deal. Each week I'm thinking, all right, what topic would bring most value? What are some things I'm struggling with that others may struggle with too, and how can we get through it? That's always what's on my mind when it comes to deciding what videos to put out. And in having this channel, of course, filming and getting better at the editing process and all that, I've had the opportunity to film my workouts in interest of B-roll, which B-roll is basically the footage that plays while I'm talking the B-roll. And lately I've been more consistent with filming myself, really just to be more consistent and to have more footage to pull from. But in this process, I've seen there's been tremendous benefits from me filming myself. Now, some Tamers are really good at filming their workouts and they post most days on Instagram, documenting their experience, getting feedback from others, just you know, as a way to garner support. And I always thought that was kind of the main motivator for folks to record themselves. And surprisingly enough, there are so many more benefits than just that. One of my most recommended parts of the Tracy Anderson setup is a good mirror. Because with a good mirror, it really helps you to stay engaged in the workout, to see your form, to improve. But when you look at yourself in the mirror, you're only seeing one viewpoint. And that viewpoint is from the viewpoint of the mirror and your viewpoint to that mirror. You're not able to see different angles given you only have one mirror. Well, with the camera, you're able to see your body in angles that you wouldn't be able to see by just looking right into the mirror. And what's so interesting about that is, one, you can see where your form needs improvement by reviewing that video. Two, you'll likely see some details of your body that are changing that you would not see and the daily viewing of yourself body checking in the mirror. Those two factors alone, improving your form by seeing how you're actually moving, which surprisingly enough, there are so many times I think I'm doing a move right. I review the footage just really quickly and I see that it's completely different than I expected. And so that's huge. By in that way I can improve my form greater than just by watching myself in a mirror. And then seeing detail of my body that I wouldn't see that's in a dip because it's in a different angle than what I get by viewing myself in the mirror, whether during a workout or just through the day, it keeps me so motivated because I'm starting to see, okay, my arms are becoming more toned, my shoulders are becoming more toned, my legs are looking much leaner than I realized. There's these details you pick up on that you're not gonna see in a photo or in the mirror. Those are probably my favorite benefits. But another one is just the benefit of how you have a greater accountability when you know that you're recording yourself. It's almost as if you are signing up for judgment. This is being documented and there's a greater accountability that I experience. And it kind of reminds me, long ago, there was a movie I watched called What the Bleep that talks a lot about quantum mechanics, quantum physics. In this movie, they cite research that supports that reality 
is altered when an observer is present. If you're into quantum mechanics in the world of manifesting and energy and law of attraction, it's a very interesting movie. It's been so long since I've watched it, but it made me think I can attest to when an observer is around, in this case, the camera, I act differently. And I find that it's improving how I show up and stay engaged in the workout. As you can see, just by recording myself and quickly reviewing some of the content, I don't, I don't sit and watch myself the whole workout. I'll just kind of scan through the video footage really quickly. I'll usually watch a few movements of a certain movement and just to kind of get a sense for if I'm doing it right or just to just to see how I'm moving. I'm not posting all of these on social media and there's times where I don't even review the footage at all. But when I do review the footage, I am able to kind of give myself feedback on improving my form. I am able to see results that I wouldn't see otherwise. And in the workout itself, I'm showing up more present and I'm being better through the workout. And as a result, getting a better workout. So these are all awesome benefits of just recording yourself. And again, you don't have to post this at all. Now, if you do want to post yourself and your workouts, and even in general, this is a great tip, is to set up your filming so that it's set up in the same place. That way you can compare and review from the same angle. You'll see that most cameras are really good about this. They have the same angle each workout and you know what to expect. I haven't been always been so consistent because sometimes I find the lighting's off or I wanna get a different angle, so I end up changing it around. But lately I find it's so much more easy for me to stick with the same angle the same shot for each workout. Then that brings us to what's the best way to set up to record yourself. So most Tamers will film from their phone. They'll film from their phone because it can be very easy to just video record from your phone and then if you did want to upload it to say Instagram, it's very seamless to do that. So that's what I do. I have a simple tripod. It's pretty cheap. I think I may invest in a nicer one. I'll link both below. The one I have today, it works just fine, but I can tell it's not gonna last long. It comes with a special clip that really makes it easy for you to clamp your phone and change the angle, whether you're going in portrait mode or landscape mode, it makes it easy for you to set up the best shot. But the clamp itself, the first one I had, because it comes with two different clamps, the first one ended up breaking after about a month, and then I'm now on the second one and I just don't know how long it's gonna last. But for now, it's a great easy setup and it was really cheap, you get what you pay for, but I'm gonna invest in another one and I'll be sure to link both. So I set up my phone, I hit record, and then I have the workout itself streaming from my laptop. So I go to tracyanderson.com, I go to my digital dashboard where I have my metamorphosis workouts, I will stream it there. I will turn off the sound of that video and then I will have a tab open for Spotify. And lately, I've just been using the uh, playlist that Spotify puts together for me. They're like daily playlists, which are built off of an algorithm using the music and artists that I often listen to. Those playlists, they're fantastic. And it takes away the decision fatigue of me having to create a playlist. It's done for me. So if you have Spotify, I would recommend exploring that because it does switch it up for you. It may expose you to songs that you love that you didn't even think about or know about. And then when it comes to getting my workout onto the TV, I have, I just connect my laptop to an HDMI cord that's connected to the TV's HDMI port. And it's pretty simple, it's pretty simple. If I didn't have a TV, I would just watch it on my laptop. Um, I still have my mirror set up, but there is something about having that camera and quickly reviewing the footage that lets me see progress that I wouldn't notice otherwise. So those are the benefits I'm seeing from recording my workouts. Would love to know what your benefits have been. Please be sure to share in the comments below. And as with every video, thank you so much for watching. Until next time.